Hello, welcome back to Blue House Vintage. Uh, I've been to Wakefield again today. No vintage, unfortunately. Um, well, no vintage Star Wars anyway. The TK Maxx did have a Black Series Han Solo, young Han Solo, for £5. I've already got that one, so I didn't pick that up. I've been told they did have Tarkin, but I must have missed that one. Uh, they had the the swoop bike from the from Solo at five ninety nine as well. I was tempted to pick that up, but I, I left it in the end. So what I got today, I went to uh, the antiques place in the Ridings, and I picked up a vintage Minnie Mouse lunchbox. You can tell it's vintage because it's so well made. It's missing the flask, the cup, whatever. Uh, I'm going to try and source one of them. If anybody has one of those that uh, that wants to get rid of it, let me know. It's it's slightly worn. It's uh, not too bad. I've seen them in uh, worse condition. So I got that uh, pretty cheap. And the vendor was actually there. And she let me have it a bit cheaper. So that will uh, get restored. I'm not going to paint it or anything like that. It's going to be stay as it is. I don't I, I, with the as with Star Wars. I, I believe they should have been played with. They should have been used. I will try and get that flask though. And I say, if anybody's got that flask, let me know. If anybody wants to get rid of it, let me know. Also, I got music for the sci-fi film composed by John Williams for Star Wars. The London Philharmonic Orchestra. This is not a recording of the original soundtrack. Now, a lot of these came out back in 1977, 78, um, of the music of Star Wars. So you've got the main title, Imperial Attack, Princess Leia's theme, Ben's Death and TIE Fighter Attack, Land of the Sun People, Return Home, and End Title. So that's your side one, that's your Star Wars. So they usually ran out of <laughs> the Star Wars music, even though the uh, the original was two C two LP long. So you've got Site Two, Stereo Space Odyssey, theme from two thousand and one, and that must be Space Odyssey. Uh, the ba Battle of the Planets, Mars, Mercury, Venus, and a space tumble. So I'm really really interested in seeing what the space tumble is. Uh, <laughs> I will play it and let you know. Uh, that is really I know what the the other ones are. These the, the battle, not Battle of the Planets. That's that was bloody uh, the, that cartoon series Battle of the Planets, which they're actually making a movie of. Um, Hulse the planets, isn't it? So that's Mars. Mars bringing the war. And the other ones, but I don't know what space tumble is. Really interested to hear what that what that is. But yeah, this is from 1977. Really, proper vintage, proper vintage Star Wars. I said I didn't get vintage Star Wars, but I did. It is proper vintage. All tales composed by John Williams, 1977, London Philharmonic Orchestra, composed by Colin. Fretcher. So it is, it is London Philharmonic Orchestra that's doing it. And doing, yep, theme from 2001. Space Tumble. Rimsky Lvorak. I have no idea. That's. Uh, that might be, might be from 2001. Um, sounds reminiscent of something that happens in. Uh, a space odyssey. Try and get that back in there. Try and keep that. So I mean, the condition is excellent, excellent condition for a forty-year-old record. Can't go wrong there. So next, Rogue One, the novel. Fifty p in a charity shop. I couldn't believe my luck. Fifty p, twenty pound when it first came out. And it's not actually a book book I've actually read. I uh, usually listen to the novels on uh, audio format. Um, the thrown ones I'm reading. 
This one I will read after after I've read through on. Because uh, I don't know if it'll like um, go into any different aspects or the ending might be different or anything like that. But it'd be interesting to read. And finally, today, uh, I don't know about you, don't, you know about the cross pens, but they are very, very high quality pens. I did have a BB-8 and an R2-D2. Um, but my ex-wife, as she took lots of things, they seem to go with her, unfortunately. But I found this today at H. Samuels for £15. So that's half price. Half price. And it's the Darth Vader version. Because I've got the cross book. Um, I did have the BB-8 in there. Because the, the pen's going there. I mean, it's, it's the Death Star. It's black. It's Star Wars. Perfect. That's what I thought. Perfect in there. And the, the cross pens are unbelievable. You've never never written anything as well in your life. On the back it says, For over 170 years, the story of Cross is a story of inspiration, ingenuity and passion for excellence. Lifetime mechanical guarantee. Uh, she did ask me if I wanted a guarantee too, so I don't think she must have read that. Uh, I asked her if she could have a guarantee against ex-wives, but uh, she said no. So there you are. There you go. Um, I did pick up myself a nice camera as well for my videos. So, I mean, these are not shabby videos by any standards. There are some worse videos. Not naming any names on, on, the, on YouTube. Um, I, I, do, I, do, I film this with my iPhone 7. And I do believe the video quality is pretty excellent. I use a microphone, obviously, with for the audio. Which I don't, I don't think I really need, but I, I just thought I'd, I'd like to have better audio because I've got, I've got my microphone for my podcasting, but I use a different microphone, obviously for, obviously for uh, my iPhone, my iPhone. But um, I'm going to look into getting a nice microphone for this Sony camera I've got. I've got a stand for it. I'm going to start doing videos on each of the vintage figures. And I've got a little studio set up. Uh, I just need a little turntable and the camera just pointing towards these videos, figures. So that will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. So subscribe and just uh, keep your eye out for those. I also got the Collector's Gazette, which has the story of the world record Boba Fett, rocket firing Boba Fett. And uh, I was saying that we could do with something like that for the auction that we've set up, that we're setting up. If anybody's got any... Um, any lots they want selling any vintage toys at all really it's not just Star Wars any vintage toys you've got a, a collector's lot that you want to sell uh, it's going to be a very publicized auction in Derby at Hanson's uh, it is going to be on the 18th of December I like I do like this collector's gazette because there's a lot of Star Wars in it even from Co Pops <laughs> I would have thought that. Uh, I saw one of those today. Fab one. £195 for it. But it wasn't as mint as that, unfortunately. And the box was a bit torn. So no, uh, that was went for £370. So if you've got anything like that, you know, let me know. Email me. I love this. I all love this. Looking at, I mean, Buck Rogers. God, that's still in the box. Oh. Unbelievable. That is unbelievable. So I'm going to look at myself. Sorry about that. I'm going to look at that myself in a, in a bit. I'm quite tired. I'm going to stay up to watch the American football. So I'm going to have a little kip. I'm going to do... Oh, um, if you were waiting for my live stream last night as well. Sorry about that. My PlayStation decided to crap itself and stop working. So I've had to reboot it and put everything back onto it. Uh, I did do a Red Dead Redemption Daily Challenges video, but obviously that got lost when my uh, system had to be rebooted. So I will be doing it one today at some time. As I say, I'm quite tired, so I might have a kit before I do it. 
But I might do it and then have a kip. But there you go. Lovely pickups today. Just get out there. Get out there and have a look. Charity shops. Oh, one buck. 50p. You can't go wrong. You know what I mean? Everywhere selling Star Wars off at the moment. That was the last one. Last cross pen. And to get it for £15 is unbelievable. So, as I said, get out there. So thanks for watching.